and so on something very interesting and controversial producer Makwa has come out on Twitter to accuse Nota of fraudulently benefiting from his royalties and all of this came after former Yaw TV presenter Itumaleng Bukaba came out to say that from her contribution on hit song My Bubble she only got 59 cents and that Nota told her that Tamba being Bidi Maporisa is the one that received the money. I confess. I confess. Hey, I confess. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's me. It's uh, your dog. I fought for that song. Hey, but anyway, I didn't win. You don't win all of the battles in life. It's fine. Um, I'm trying to launch my own music, so it's okay. I'll get there. <laughs> but anyway, for the ones that are asking, what did I say on the song? Well, in the beginning, I kind of just like made it up with Google Translate. So I know it's grammatically incorrect. I am so sorry to the whole of India. It was just vibes, you know, <laughs> but it goes. Yeah. May apko karne padi jan jata, din pyar ta, din pyar ta. Ab sunna hai, ab sunna hai. And then my babo chin yengalo chin chala pyala ino bo, chala pyala ino bo, chala pyala ino bo, chala pyala ino bo. My babo. Yeah, so that's what it is. <laughs> Makwa then came out to say that Maporisa is not responsible for all of this. Nota is, he did the splits behind our back. Makwa then continued to clarify the fact that he also didn't receive anything and that yes, that was his beat. Also calling Nota a fuck up. Interestingly, also suggesting that Nota is not a producer neither did he have any contribution on that song. Also saying that Cresta had called him yesterday and he said that the lady who sang the hook exposed everything because he also doesn't know anything. Nota responded by saying he would beat Makwa because Makwa is disrespecting him and that he must go to Samro to fix whatever is wrong. Also saying that he's not Makwa's publisher neither has he ever claimed to be and that Makwa should bring back his things before it goes and opens a case of theft. Marco responded by saying, Hey, fuck you fraud. No wonder you don't get fat. I don't have your things. Marco also came back to say, You cannot do split shits behind our backs and tell us to go fix it ourselves. You have been shady from day one. You told me to get rid of my publisher because you didn't want me to find out that you're a fraud. And Marco also came back in another tweet saying that, I produced songs and what he think he meant was that people who weren't in the studio are getting the royalties. I'm going to Samro to remove their names. What the fuck? To which in the replies he continued to attack Nota, suggesting that he's not a producer because some other people were of the opinion that Marqua is the beat maker and Nota is the producer because there is a difference between the two. But Marqua did specify that Nota is drunk. But essentially what Makwa is saying is that he didn't know because Nota does the split sheets on his own and that he only found out about this because he got himself a publisher. And this is quite controversial. All of these guys were once together under a label called Rap Life, which did have some success but unfortunately came to a collapse. If you guys want to check out the videos that we did on Rap Life, the links will be in the description. However, you can also let us know what you think about the current matter. Comment down below and if you like the video, give it a thumbs up.